To give President Ma the space he needs to end the student-led occupation of the legislature Yen, KMT lawmaker Liu Shouyan suggested that Beijing allow adjustments to the trade and services pact. But a Chinese official threw cold water on the idea by remarking that there are few precedents for trade talks to be renegotiated. <laughs> Student protesters requested the Cross-Trade Trade and Services Pact be sent back to China for reconsideration. A KMT legislator asked for Beijing's understanding. If the Chinese authorities can agree to a gradual line-by-line -line review and adjustments, then I think Taiwanese will have a better impression of China. This will give President Ma more time and space to reassure some citizens and students. Then everyone can happily sign the agreement. This doesn't seem to be China's position. In a meeting with Taiwanese scholars, China's Taiwan Affairs Office Director John Jitrun remarked that few times in history have trade talks been renegotiated. Lawmakers, however, were quick to rebuke his comment. A number of international examples exist where there have been renegotiations, such as recent free trade agreements between the United States and South Korea, NAFTA, and a trade pact between Mexico, Colombia, and Venezuela. NAFTA saw Canada, the U.S., and Mexico overcome different degrees of opposition, requiring renegotiation. Internationally, renegotiations are not always needed, but they are not extraordinary. KMT legislator Luo Shulei said progress would depend on China's willingness to compromise.